hey guys this is Farjana in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create DV pop-up style with a free plugins so in this tutorial I'm going to create a pop-up style with our text item like this and a pop-up form which will link with our contact menu item so here I will not focus on design part here I will only show you how it will work so let's dive into it and let's get started first I am going to plugins and add new plugins and here I am searching for pop-up makers and here is the plugin pop-up maker here we can see four lux plus installations here is too many reviews so i'm going to install this plugin and going to activate it okay so now we can see here is a new menu item pop-up maker so i'm going there and here i'm going to create a new pop-up so i'm clicking on add pop-up and here i'm going to create a pop-up item so first i'm creating a new pop-up called form pop-up and save it so here we can use our dv builder to style our pop-up area so here is a complete builder we can access so we can style our pop-up area as we want so we can import here anything as we need we can import here form or any stylish area or anything which we need so first I'm going to start building and taking here one column row and here first I'm taking some text just typing some text here contact okay now i'm making it h2 and alignment to center i'm going to save it and next i'm taking a form module here is three field for now i'm just uh, saving it and from here we have to set a add new trigger uh, it will be open when we click we can set also in time delay so when we click it will be popped up after a certain time so for now I'm just setting clicking click open and setting to add and from here we can add a class name so I'm adding here contact so this is our class name so when we add any class with any item this pop-up item will work with that so I'm just copy this class name and add it I'm going to save it and going to my menu item and from here I'm going to contact and here we will add our class name with this contact item from top area I'm clicking on this screen option and from here I just uh, check on these CSS classes and then you can see here is a CSS class option added with our menu item so here I'm going to add my class name so here is uh, uh, my class name for pop-up I'm going to save it now I'm going to refresh my page so now when I click on this item yes here is the pop-up item you can see here now we can also customize our pop-up style this is by default I'm going to customizing it I'm going to my pop-up area and going to edit it so here is more options to customize our pop-up here is targeting 
so from here we can disable this pop-up on mobile device or a tablet device and from here we can change our display so here is a few default style for our pop-up theme here is a few many options we can check it and here is a site option so we can set our pop-up width to small to large options or we can set a custom width and here we can set animation type so here is several animation style we can set slide fade slide and fade style and here is position so from here we can set our pop-up position from top and from left or right we can set our position and here is advanced option from here we can also disable overlay and disable repositioning and we can set our pop-up jet index position and next here is close button customization options so by default here is a close text but uh, we can change it to anything so i prefer to use here a cross icon here is alternative method so we can also click overlay to close so when we click on our overlay it will be closed and press ESC to close or press F4 to close so here is mm, several options we can do and here is some advanced options we can do so now I'm going to add some style here I'm going to display and appearance and from here we can customize this theme style so here is our enterprise uh, blue style we can change our theme style here is so many options so here is overlay color we can change our overlay color to anything and here is container style so we can change our padding our border radius and here is background color we can also change our background color and here is border style so we can add border and border width and here is drop shadow so we can add here some drop shadow here is already by default some drop shadow so we can change it and next here is title so by default here in our pop-up item we can set a title but i prefer to use all item from our db builder so i'm just for now skip it but here is too many options for our font style and here is content so from here we can also style our content uh, font style and here is close option so for here we can also style our close icon so here is our close icon location and here is icon size we can set our icon size width height padding and border radius we can set icon background color and font color font size and also add border with it and drop shadow options here we can also set drop shadow with this icon and text shadow also we can add here text shadow so here is too many options we can do for now i'm just saving it and here is a amazing part we can also create our custom pop-up theme so here we can create a fully custom pop-up style as we want and here we will get some default style so i'm going to refresh my page and check it again so here is our style i just removed this form for now 
so here we can create uh, more pop-up as we need you can create any pop-up item from menu item if we want a uh, contact form we can set our contact form in pop-up item or uh, here I have added some of my work so also here we can add a pop-up style so when we click on more it will pop up and there will show more details about my project or we can set a pop-up item with our team member area so when we click on any team member it will display more about him let's try to add a pop-up item here so again i'm creating a new pop-up and this is for my project details and i'm going to my builder and start building and here i'm taking a two column row and left side i'm taking image here i'm taking this image on left side and on right side i will add some text so i am just adding some dummy text here I'm just going to copy it and paste it several times okay now publish it and here i'm just setting a trigger add new trigger and click open going to add and here adding a class name so here is project one this is my class name going to add and update it now i'm going to my page and going to visual builder and click on this item and here we need to add our class name with this text so here i'm going to text and from here i need to add some html tag so for now i'm adding here span and class here is my class name i'm closing my tags span okay now i'm going to save it okay now i'm going to refresh my page and when i click on this item you can see here is our pop-up so here we can add so many items or so many texts buttons or any style as we want and now i just keep it plain style hope you understand my concept and hope this tutorial will help you so here is all for today if you have more questions or any confusions about this topic just comment below if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial